Hi guys, how are you all and how you doing? Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a bit of um, bike camping, as I call it, or bike camping or bike whatever. I'm going to try and go up to um, Chinton Downs. That's right over that way, right in the Downs. Once I get there, I'll give you some nice scenic views. Sorry, my sunglasses are all steamed up. Yeah, so I'm... Um, Try and get there, give you some nice views. I've seen some nice downs, some nice views up there. Sorry, nice downs. <laughs> a nice bit of wood, the woodland around there. So one of them is uh, called Duke, Duke Woods. I'll put a little description in there so you guys can guess what wood it is. And if not, the other places. And if I still can't find a place, I'll end up going into Bridestone. It's just down the road from it, but I want to go to the Chinton and show you some nice views if I get there in time. <laughs> but I tried to use a outdoor active map and where I started this and where it is, is about three hours. I don't know if I put it in um, hiking mode or bike mode, but I'm technically halfway there. You've probably noticed behind there. That's why I've roughly started right back there. And I'm near coming up to Murdstone. So yeah, technically I'm halfway there. I got Murdstone, Blackstone, then I got to go to Rookley, then up around the corner. I thought it's a nice sunny day. Test my gear out. Can hear someone come along? I thought I'd test my gear out before it becomes winter. Test some of my winter gear stuff out. I'll probably get too hot. But yeah, I've got a nice little feast for myself tonight. And I've got porridge yeah i thought i packed pancakes but then i realized you've got to like add 40 grams with water with this pancake mix where basically i had to take the full packet i didn't really want to take the full packet so it was like workout ratio that's one of the things i have to do at home and then bring it out and do it another time so see you guys later <laughs> open in the 1920s and now closed hi guys i've stopped for five minutes Whew, i've forgotten how hilly island is on a push bike on a car you just put vroom, go there but god it's getting hotter and hotter it was like, like that. so i stopped to have a drink of water just showed you where i'm going to head towards is over that way a little bit i'm hoping Hoping, hoping, hoping I can get round along the top there and around so I can show you the other side of the downs. It's Chittenden Downs, is this oh, Chittenden or oh, Chittenden? Oh, I don't know. But that's the downs over there. That's the area mask. I've been looking at it last week to go there, but well, I was going to go last week, but my um, fairly a little wet wits, it's the muscle between your bone of your toast to your heel start playing up and it started giving me jip around my ankles so all last week weekend i was walking hopping around around the house so couldn't do much anything really so i was like staying at home moping because i wanted to go out couldn't go out because my leg was playing up and it started on my leg and hip so it was a flare up basically so now five more minute rest and then i'll try and get up to the top the top there and give you a bit of a scenic route view of what it's like up there then i'll find the woods where i'm going to and then then cook my my meal unless it's already cooked in the bag on the way up here <laughs> right see you guys later subscribe i'm not even at the top of the hill Right up that way. I'm already puffed out already. <laughs> I only stopped about a quarter of a mile down the road and I've stopped again. I didn't realise it was going to be like uh, 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 uh. I thought this would be the easier route. The other way goes like that. Well it's going to be worth it. I'm looking forward to my nice beers when I get to the, cat, um, the hammock. <sighs> Cook off, nice beers. 
I've got two litre water. It's carefully balanced on my bike. I should have got some panniers, but I forked out too much this year. Next year, I think I'll get stuff for the bike. Not this year. I mean, I've gone further afield this year. Well, what I wanted to do, I wanted to stay on the other side of the island, but this year, I just thought I'd go for a little scout. Give me a bit of an idea. I should have stayed over the other side, the east side of the island. I did say I'll do this side next year, but I just just wanted to do it. You know, when you've got something in your mind, you went, oh, I need to do it. You know, that's why I did that beach one. Needed to do it. It's nice. This is a really nice spot. Wish I bought my tent now. <laughs> I've just seen the farmer. He saw me coming up on the push bike. And he was coming down as one of these 4x4 four by boy, four by four go kart thingies. You know the bit in, if you've ever seen um, Umbrella, where they do the two people pass each other in the car like that? It was like that. I was like, and he was like, <laughs> they just passed each other. <laughs> so, yeah. Stop for five minutes. I'm sweating like anything. Why is English autumn cold in the mornings, then warm in the day, and then when it gets in the evening, it gets really sweaty and humid, and then it just goes cold? Why does England do that? Right, so I've come from all the way over there to here. Yeah, I think I want no white. It said take three hours. It's that's a dog barking in some sort of holiday chalet. But yeah, Kelsbrook Castle's just over there. Uh, that over there, if you can see it. That's our, 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 our actual official castle, not Cook Castle. It was more like a folly. That is a castle. So guys, see you in a bit when I get to the top and I'll, I'll find a place where I want to camp. Been looking at Google, thought that's a nice place, but I come up here and I've seen it, it's like that. So it might not be there, it might be just around the corner from it, or it'll be an un unaccessible, first time unaccessible camp for me out here. But it's worth it. I actually feel pooped now, so. And I've still got all the way up the top to do yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it would be all downhill on the way home, so that's a bit of a bonus. Right, got to get going or it's going to get dark and I'm not going to see what I'm doing. I know I've got more head torches, but I don't like setting up in the dark. It's like a rush. So, see you guys later. Hi guys, welcome back. Guess what's missing with my pack? There's something hanging in the middle here. It's um, still at home. Got all the way here, looking forward to it, and then realized I didn't pack my hammock. Under blanket, sleeping bag, everything else, but not my hammock. So do I, A, rough it on the floor with the tarp over me, and have more layers than a Mr. Kipling cake, or do I go back home? But I really want to cook my steak out here, so I'm going to cook that and then revaluate my life. I'm having a coffee and going hell it and just do it. So it's going to be just under the top for me tonight. It's going to be all oh, the last of the goes wrong. Well. I didn't realise that's going to be a three hour cycle ride. But see how it goes? I just saw a scribble go across, across the floor. I've got my cup. I've got loads of beer. Oh well. Can't have it all, can we now? See you guys in a bit.
Well, uh, I've lost my green jumper. I put that on, the back, on my backpack and it's supposed to come off somewhere. So I'm not going back to find it all that way. I took it off somewhere. So it's either fell out somewhere. So if anyone's find a green hoodie around this area, it's mine. <laughs> Never going to see that again. Whoops. <laughs> One of those camps that I think goes completely wrong. I, I went the other way because I thought that'd be less steepy. It ended up being steep like anything. So if I end up bailing this camp and going the short way home, it looks like I'll be doing that. I completely forgot my cup, so I'm using a bowl for coffee. At least I've got two beers, but. I'm going to do it in that Fayita style. I've got mushrooms and that lot. I'm going to put that on there in a minute. I've got to let it rest and then try and cut that up with plastic knives. <laughs> no, I've got real knife actually. <laughs> but see you guys in a bit. Lots of wildlife around here. I think this would be a nice spot for a tent. I mean, I should have just come out by a car and walked up here, but why on stupidity? Yeah, so someone, if you walk around here and you find a green jumper, it's mine, okay? <laughs> Let's get another one. Yeah, all the way here I could smell onions and I wonder why it was the onions in my bag. Can't believe I've forgotten to pet the hammock. It's going to be a rough night then. <laughs> Or I'll be cycling home in the dark. Well, I've got torches on the light anyway, so. On the bike, sorry. Oops, I've got lost my hand. See you guys in a bit when I've finished all this lot. All right, sorry guys. This camp is going completely peat tong. I'm gonna pack up and go home. It's a nice spot. 
but it's just going oh, I'm in a cursed camp I think you always get them one it goes all gross complete tongue this has gone complete tongue well the steak was lovely I'd like to say that but now I've got to pack up and head off home because I'm not sleeping on the floor my back's hurting as it is it's going to hurt even more and you probably hear all those pheasants I ain't going to get asleep so I'm going to start packing everything up and then head off home and probably reevaluate this place. So the moral of this story is, one, check the place out, easiest route. Two, pack everything before you go away. And three, I'm not going to say about, about three, but yeah, this is a, what you call a complete Pete Tong camp trip. Or at least my um, fully believable, whatever it's called, the, the, the bottom of my feet are not hurting. So that's a bonus. It's like a humming noise. I can't be able to sleep with that either. So I'm going to start packing stuff before it gets too dark. And then head off home. Lovely. Right, see you guys later. Well, hopefully another camp trip where it's not Pete Tong like this one. See you guys later. Thank mm -hmm. you.